All right, all right, all right. How y'all doing today? Welcome to another live RAI caregiver moment. My name is Kion Church, AKA the big hearted caregiver. Now what I do is I help family members with distressed loved ones become paid caregivers through our personal assistance service agency. Now today's episode is all about whether it's safe or not to take your parents and loved ones, you know, in person out to the doctor's office right now. You know, with all this COVID going on, we don't really know about the country opening back up. We're trying to keep our parents and our loved ones safe. But listen, but first, before we get started, if you would like to personally work with me or anybody on the Reliable Aid team, type get started in the comments and somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. Miss Thomas, how you doing? We got some viewers watching, but I got some stuff stuck on the screen. So we're going to get straight to it. Today is about whether it's safe enough or not to take your parents and your loved ones to the doctor's office. Now look, we can't be caught in the house forever and we gotta get out because uh, Lord knows these older folk in our community got a lot of doctor's appointments. I know my pop got a doctor's appointment at least two, three times a week. And a lot of us are wondering, is it actually safe enough to go back outside? Um, let's read what the experts say. Be sure to connect with your healthcare provider first via phone or video to determine whether you need to make the trip, first of all. Now look, talk to them by phone or, or, or whatever you gotta do because a lot of people are actually doing these uh, teleconferences. You know, I had my father hooked up, uh, he had to see the pulmonary doctor a couple days ago. So you know, it's a lot going on at the VA. We ain't necessarily trying to sneak down there like that. So what we did, I, I had it arranged. We, we did a teleconference, you know, that's where the doctor talked to the patient from their office in the comfort of your own home and then you know you don't have to worry about going out or figuring out what's going on now listen when you arrive at your doctor's office make sure that you figure out the rules since this covid 19 thing has gone on a lot of different changes have been made a lot of people changing new policies in the office you know that sometimes they don't let you in with other people sometimes they want to take your temperature you know give you a little scan at the door Whatever they want you to do, make sure you be compliant with it and make sure you know the rules ahead of time. Ain't no, ain't no fun when you get there with your, 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 your parent or your loved one and they tell you, hey, man, go sit in the car and you don't know nothing. You know, so be up on what's going on. OK, uh, new procedures jumping off every day. We got to uh, stay in and know. All right. Now, including who your company you can bring in or not and not and whether you can actually come in without a mask because that mask thing is going on and it's definitely serious and don't be caught up in no places where they don't have no masks on I was in a place the other day and, and, and I left like they was cooking food in there and, and it's a sign on the door say you gotta have a mask to come in but let they, they they letting people stand at the counter with no mask on I don't understand that and uh, they don't know that the, the COVID might make a resurgence but it ain't gonna happen with me. So what I'm gonna need you to do is take care of your parents and your loved ones. If you need any help, reach out to me, 302-689-3240. Um, like I said, once again, my name is Kion Church. I'm the founder and administrator of the Reliable Aid Inc. crew. And uh, we look over your family and take care of them just like they were one of our own. So call me if you need me, 302-689-3240. Feel free to jump in a DM. Let me know if you need any help taking care of your parents or loved ones or if you're a caregiver and you just like to get paid because you've already been taking care of your parents and loved ones. So keep me posted. I'm the big hearted caregiver. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks a lot.